Problem number 20. Find f inverse of x for the function f of x equals 2x minus 7. So there's two ways to do this problem. Method 1 is to follow a series of steps and show the work. Method 2 is to just do it in your head. So first I'll show you how to show the work. So the first step is to replace y with f of x. So you let y equal 2x minus 7. The second step is to switch your x's and y's. So y becomes x, and then we have the 2, and then x becomes y. And the third step is usually the hardest step in these problems. It's to solve for y, although in this case it's pretty simple. So to solve for y, we first have to isolate the term 2y. So we'll add the 7 to both sides. So we end up with x plus 7 equals 2y. Then to finish solving for y, we'll just divide by 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So we end up with y equals x plus 7, all divided by 2. And if you really want to be perfect, you can include a fourth step. Replace y with the inverse function notation. So f inverse of x is equal to x plus 7 divided by 2. And that is the final answer. Let's see if that's one of the choices. Oh, it is. It's the very, oh, I almost messed up. I thought it was the first choice. It's C. Wow, they're all, they're, they look very similar, so be really careful. So C is the um, correct choice uh, in this case, right? C is the correct choice. Let's, let's do it a different way. Let's do it using our minds. Now, I'll show some work, but you can do this process in your head. So the other way is just to write down what f does to x. So it takes x, and it first multiplies it by 2. So I'll just put mult 2. Then it subtracts 7. So I'll put sub 7. Okay, now we can write the answer down. So f inverse of x. So it takes x, multiplies it by 2, then subtracts 7. So go in reverse order. Takes x. The opposite of subtracting 2 is adding 2. And the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. Boom, we're done. I hope this video has been helpful.